Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day with only positive vibes. Guys, for those who don't know, Zombie Mode is officially out in Call of Duty Mobile, and I've been grinding this for the last day, probably around 12 hours. And with that, today's video is going to be an in-depth way on how you can beat hard mode. And I'm going to go with you guys step-by-step step on how I do my, my plays and how I actually do my rundown and stuff like that. So I basically, I'll do a rundown on how we start. Before we even hop into the game, you got to prepare a few things. Now, the main thing you got to check if you haven't played this yet is your talents, and it's very important because talents talents can help a lot now before you get into the talents make sure you do your challenges a lot of challenges that are really easy to do you guys can do a bunch of these and then you can unlock a few points the challenging one would probably be doing a bunch of turds but as you progress you get a lot of them it's really important to do this because it's going to help you level up and while leveling up you'll get the i guess the um, material required for your talents and you guys make sure to do your daily and your weekly fairly easy. And then with your talent, I recommend leveling up the turret. I believe turrets are very essential to this. And I'll explain afterwards while we hop into a game. If you get your turret to level 10, it is huge as an ability. If when it falls behind 35%, I was gonna say 35 damage, 35%, it shoots 50% faster, which is good. And then I also level up the weapon. And if you want, I kind of level up a little bit of the advanced tool because it doesn't take much and it's really good for repairing. So that's a little different thing if you guys want to do that. But this is usually the build that I will go. Now, now that you have your talent, make sure to have the weapons you want to do. Now, if you're just going to try to beat the game for the first time, I recommend two guns. And the main gun that I personally use is the HS2126. It is absolutely fantastic, especially with the birdshot. Actually, I lied. Do not use any other but the birdshot. The birdshot will literally give you like i think i didn't have any weapon upgraded i did about six thousand damage per burst and when i did upgrade the weapon damage i did close to eight thousand damage which is absolutely insane for the shotgun and that will help you destroy the gunner the gunner zombie is absolutely the most annoying one and this will beam them now you can use snipers if you like however sniper ammo is very hard to get shotgun ammo as well but shotgun ammo is a lot easier and as you progress towards the game i think sniper ammo you can only get from special bosses but i'll explain why they're still solid Shotgun ammo you can get all throughout day, I think start day three, four, and five, you can get shotgun ammo in the ground. So that's pretty easy. Now, snipers are pretty solid because they do a lot of damage. The locust does 800 damage to the head to the, I believe it is the, the gunner. But it is really hard to use. However, you can grind the sniper at the same time. You only need eight kills, which makes it super easy. Now, what I usually typically do if I'm grinding, you'll see I usually use the sniper rounds. So for example, if I'm using an assault rifle, let me show you guys the AMAX that I actually have. I use the AS Val. I use the FMJ round. AMAX, I use the M67. The reason I love these is because it does high damage. I believe it's approximately 150 damage per shot and headshots for the AMAX and stuff. It's like 500, 600 damage, depending on who you're shooting. And it doesn't take a lot of bullets. So if you want to be a bullet efficient, I was gonna say fuel efficient, but bullet efficiency, these guns are really good. But then again, if you're just grinding any weapon, it doesn't really matter. But we'll get talked about that in a second. Before you hop into the game, I recommend you get a teammate. Look, you can do this solo. It will be really hard, not impossible, but getting one more teammate will make this almost guaranteed. Three, you will be pretty easy, especially if you follow my strategy. I promise you guys with this strategy, you will be able to succeed. I'm telling you, I was very close on doing this solo. I got pretty close when doing this solo. I think we made it to day five, and if I had one more teammate, pretty much would have guaranteed it. Anyway, let's hop into the game, you'll see. Now that we're in the game, day one. It is not as important as people think because most of the time you should have enough to get a turret and that's really all you need. But if you want to advance and get the most advantage, I recommend in the beginning, try to get into chopper. If you don't, get into a vehicle. If you have a teammate, go to chopper with a teammate and drop off on your teammate in one of those high loot zone in quotation mark. Look at the mini map, you'll see there's a part where it has a giant crystal. For example, launch base, kill house. They will have giant crystal. Drop off on a teammate there and then go to your other place. And once you're there, the creeps will be a little stronger than a regular place, but they have higher chance of dropping good loot. And the main thing you want to get is the guns. You have a chance to get a blue AK-47 or an AK-117. And those are going to be absolutely huge in killing mobs. And not only that, you can use those two guns to grind your Aether Crystal Camel. See, with that, it's going to be absolutely huge. And also, while killing the mobs there, there's going to be special mobs. So be careful a little bit. You can still be a little reckless if you want because they hurt, but you probably won't die from that. Kill those mobs and they have a chance to uh, drop the require resources for your turret and i forgot the name of it i'll be honest with you guys but it's the turret i think it's 
called? I don't remember. Anyway, you guys will see in the gameplay. With those, you can build the turrets. Now, after day one, I recommend building one turret. If you have your turret level 10, or basically the, uh, the talent level 10, this is a tip and trick that you can use from the beginning of the game all to the end. As soon as creeps start spawning or zombies start spawning, you take the turret and you put it right on the zone. It's gonna start taking damage. And once you get to that one third mark, pretty easy, you'll see it start shooting fast. Move it away from the uh, zone. It's gonna start shooting like crazy. And more likely than not, you're not gonna be able, it's, it's not gonna get destroyed. I mean, honestly, if you take care of the zombies in front of it, will not take, get destroyed. And make sure to move your turret every round to the other side, because it will start on one side and go to the other side. And that's gonna be for day one. Should be fairly easy pretty simple and with that you should have gone probably close to 2,000 more points you can add, upgrade your turret once if you got lucky and got those um the resources you need i don't remember exactly the name of it it's a generic one that you use for all of them now day two this is where it gets a little more interesting if you have a teammate what i recommend is getting a chopper fly to one high resource location where there's airdrops so there's gonna be a lot of places that have maybe one or two airdrops and then there's another place that's gonna have another airdrop so you drop off a teammate and then you go to another place if possible i recommend a high tier place where the the crystal is as well as the crates typically speaking the day two you're not gonna find that but i recommend just dropping them off and then p looting up go for those airdrop and the main reason you want to go for airdrop is one for the resources you need for the turret and two you get these purple guns purple guns are absolutely insane in the game there's holgers there's the amax there's even the i forgot it's the gm i don't remember the, the new smg the something mx mx9 and uh, even the even the base one you know you can get the rus and any of those they are absolutely fantastic. As the tier goes higher, you go from, I think it's common to uncommon to epics, they deal more and more damage. Take control of those, that's gonna help you out. And then after is when you finish collecting all the crates, just kill zombies, grind whatever gun you're trying to. Now get back to base after the timer and then upgrade your turret to level three. You should be able to get your first turret to level three after being able to go to this airdrops and double check to see where your teammates are going. If your teammates are going to the same spot as you, just swerve, go somewhere else. There's other places that will have loot. You don't actually always have to go to the crate, but the crates are really useful because the purple guns. I actually got to use the, um, the Holger and the Amax and those two are absolutely fantastic when it comes to that. Now, day two, same thing as day one when it comes to zombie mode stuff. You just upgrade your turret, you move your turret around, you put it outside if you would like. You don't have to do it. I like doing that. Then you shoot them with your hoger. Easy breezy. Now, day three, same thing, except this time there's going to be more loot areas. There's going to be areas where you can actually drop and have those high loot tier. Same thing, but make sure to check your turrets that you want to upgrade okay look there's four types of turrets in the game all right and they kind of branch out from two of them one of them branches out from the laser turret or the regular turret and the other one branches out from the grenade turrets and then afterwards there's these epic mods that you require it's going to require either flame mods or the laser mod now make sure you choose one at a time don't leave all these items in your bag. Don't have all those, like, what's it called? Like, don't have like 800 grenade mods or 800 L SMG mods. You have to have one specifically. So me, I like to personally start off with the regular machine gun mods and then uh, upgrade it to the max in the end by making the, I forgot the name of it. I think it's the machine gun cannon mod that deals more damage to special units. Personally speaking, I think that is the best way to do it and choose and then if you want to do your second one as a cannon one you can do so but personally speaking i just like going the, the machine gun route usually what i do is first one is the cannon one that deals more damage to mob and then i'll just go laser laser and then the thunder round one the thunder round is really really good it's one of my favorite one but we'll talk about that after now round four this is going to be where it's a little bit different i recommend buying the hs2126 that's usually when i buy my hs2126 hopefully your teammate will follow you but Get into the chopper, then you guys can go to the daily quest. There's two types of daily quests. One of them is kill the butcher. The other one is kill the crystal. And it's absolutely the easiest thing in the world, especially when you have the HS2126. Now, the crystal one is very easy. All you have to do is hop off, go on the crystal, and make sure to click the button. Don't start shooting without clicking the button that says destroy the crystal, or else you're dealing no damage. The HS2126 will deal so much damage to that, and it will destroy it in like almost a blink of an eye. Once you have that, it's going to drop a lot of loot a lot and if you're lucky you'll get a legendary sniper and that is going to do a lot of damage you can pick it up if you would like 
it will help you with your camel grind but the important part is all the resources you're gonna get it's gonna get the, the green resource the blue resource the generic one i forgot the name of it and then you can pick which one you want there's gonna be some laser mods there's gonna be some flame mods i really like the laser mods this is usually what i go and you pick it make sure to share with your teammate but there's usually more than enough and with that i usually recommend not crashing the chopper i forgot to mention that don't crash the chopper because you should be ha able to have a little bit more time to fly to other high loot zones to loot a little bit more if you want you can go back to the command center and you can actually make an upgrade onto your turret and stuff like that and then maybe go loot some more if you have the time day four this is important okay if you follow the same step as me you should potentially have at least two epic or two purple turrets or level four turrets and maybe even a third one i've actually often gotten three by day four and with that you should be fairly easily be able to destroy all of them you don't even need to put them outside you don't need them to take damage at this rate just leave them in the middle and you can kind of move them but don't worry about too much usually in this situation I will go for three different types of turrets. The first turret I go with is like the cannon one that deals more damage to the bosses, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Both of them are very cheap to make, so you can choose either one. And then second one, I usually go with the shock one that deals more damage to boss units or elite units. That will help a lot. And my third unit that I usually get at this time is this shock or thunder unit. The reason I like the thunder unit is because it slows like crazy. So that in combination of all of them gets slowed and then they're gonna get beamed by my turrets. Usually that's what you have by day four. And with that, with your teammate all together, you to be able to go through pretty easily now that is day five all right day five is very important because this is where you have to prepare for everything else now you can also finish your last turret make sure your teammates have at least three turrets i recommend four of those epic turrets epic turrets over i much rather have two epic turrets and four of those rare turrets trust me epic turrets deal so much more damage now this is the important part make sure to do the other quests that you didn't finish so if you did do the um I guess the crystal quest the next quest is the butcher quest which is fairly easy you just fly down and then get kill all those mini zombies first because they're just more annoying than anything and then have a couple people jump into the antelope and then start shooting them and have one person get aggro if you got the hs2126 you'll beam the butcher bang very simple easy and then go ahead if you have time either just go ahead and make more turrets upgrade them save it but at this point you should have four purple turrets and nighttime will hit this is where strategy might be different for different people. However, how I usually use it, I will rotate between the abilities in the store. There is two, three that people are usually used. There's the War Machine, Death Machine, and Goliath. Some people like using the Goliath. I personally don't use the Goliath right off the bat because I deal a lot of damage with my shotgun. So I will basically start with the War Machine right off the bat, look where they're spawning, shoot the War Machine from a mile away, boom, 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 blow them up, and then easy, dang all dead next go grab the death machine start shooting people left right boom 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 dang and then with that you should have some creeps coming in towards you bring out the shotgun start hitting people in the face if you don't have a shotgun you can actually get away with the echo i've actually tried the echo it's not bad but hs216 promise you guys with birdshot so good but you can use your ar if you don't have the shotgun just use any of the build that you have make sure to pick up a specific one from your loadouts but you can get the Goliath as well. The problem with having four Goliath is no one can repair. Personally speaking, I much rather be the person that can repair as well as use a shotgun because the shotgun can absolutely shred a lot of these guys. So basically, I, I usually go around the whole game looking for shotguns and then bang, killing people, killing people, killing people. Dang, after like, I think 45 seconds, I pick up a war machine, boom, boom, boom. When that's done, death machine, boom, 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 shotgun rinse and repeat until you're all out of war machine and death machine and then i'll grab the goliath because it's the end get the four squad and bam you have completed the hard mode and actually this strategy was coming in from basically 12 hours gameplay and uh, hopefully that helped you guys all right that's it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did like share and subscribe let me know in the comments down below if this helped you guys out if there's something else you would like me to talk about maybe i'll make another video to help out different types of players but this is for people who are just trying to beat hard mode while grinding some guns you can be more efficient as you get more talents but in the beginning of the game this is the best strategy let me know what you guys think all right i'll see you guys next time kill it <laughs>